Hey guys, so um, as I mentioned in my weekly conversation um, titled, We All Need a Break, <laughs> um, I am demoing a relationship reading that I am, I am adding to uh, my mirror reading um, option. It's going to be at the very end of the mirror reading. Um, and it's going to give a relationship, some insight to the relationship between uh, the two things we're looking into. Yeah, whatever we're asking to mirror and to see what's how it's interacting. This um, reading comes from the Animal Spirit deck by the Wild Unknown and Kim Kranz. Yeah. So I just wanted to give you guys um, an example of what this reading would be, so that you know what to expect should you order should you order the um, the mirror reading moving forward. Okay, so this is going to be a reading for the relationship between the divine uh, masculine and the divine feminine, and this is for the collective. So this is a this is a general reading. Okay, so take what leaves with you, uh, take what resonates with you, and leave what doesn't. Yes. All right. Um, I'm debating whether I will, I could probably just add this into the list. If you want to do just a, um, a mirror, uh, not a mirror, but, uh, this relationship reading, you know, um, if there's enough demand for it, I will add it to the official list. But otherwise I feel like it will work best with the mirror reading. Um, cause it's meant to be an additional Oracle, if that makes sense. But anyway, we'll see how much demand there is. If there is enough demand for it, then I'll add it to the to the to the whole reading list. Yeah. So, spirit and animal spirits, please bring forward the best messages for the divine feminine and divine masculine at this time in relation to their relationship with each other. Yeah. Thank you so much. One more shuffle. You guys, I really love this deck. If any of you were interested in purchasing it, I would highly recommend it. It is the absolute truth, guys. <laughs> the absolute truth. Like, it's it's so amazing. Okay, position one, we have the Divine Masculine, Starfish. Position two, we have the Divine Feminine, the Crow. Position three, we have the uh, the shadow, um, what is it, how do they phrase it here? I will be using the book for some time. There's, I am getting into learning this car, these cards. But, uh, oh yeah, the shadow dynamic is position three, deer. And the illuminated dynamic in the fourth position is peacock. Okay. So we've got, um, we've got water earth, and air here. Interesting. All right, and now I will get into um, reading. So for the Divine Masculine, now, uh, initially, um, in this reading, these two positions here, this position here would be the Querent, um, and then this position would be the uh, the other person in the relationship. But because I'm doing this as a demo and it's for the the, the collective, I put this position here as in on the right. Um, well, if they're facing us, on the right is the masculine, on the left is the feminine. Okay, so that's why I positioned it this way. But in the rest of the readings moving forward, this would be you, the querent, and this would be uh, your partner or the person you're asking about or the situation, uh, whatever. Yeah. All right, for Divine Masculine, we got Starfish. Where you at, Starfish? Where you at, Starfish? There she is. Beautiful, alluring, superficial, or shallow. The Starfish is a natural and exquisite beauty, mesmerizing to all. Being around someone with Starfish energy is a thrill, like you've been put under a spell of divinity itself. The problem is these creatures can be reliant on how they look and what other people think of them. For so long, they may have forgotten their deeper callings. When this card appears, it's important to ask, am I being swayed by outward appearances? What dreams have I put aside to please others? When in balance, starfish is uplifting, artistic, and expressive. When out of balance, starfish gossips and feels energy. 
to bring starfish into balance, one needs positive friends. And look, I told y'all, this, this deck is the truth. And that's exactly what the D Divine Masculine has been dealing with, with this devil energy that they've been battling for so long. Pleasing others instead and leaving themselves, you know, all out to dry, out in the cold. Um, doing every, like putting their own dreams aside to facilitate the dreams of others, to make other people happy, right? Doing this for so long that they tend to lose their sense of self. Well, that's no fun, <laughs> right? For the Divine Feminine, we got Crow. Yes. Crow. Spiritually strong, creative, watchful. The crow has long been a symbol of magic. A crow personality is drawn to the supernatural and has a gift for seeing the unseen, knowing the unknown. It is said that the crow holds within its mind's eye the three realities, past, present, and future. Crow energy is potent and should only be tapped into when the mind is clear. Those with crow tendencies must become their lives amount, I'm sorry, must balance their lives with a healthy diet, joyful friends, and regular self-study. When in balance, crow is psychic, strong, and clear. When out of balance, crow is ungrounded, hypersensitive. To bring into balance, one needs daily meditation practice. And that speaks very, very well to the nature of uh, not only the you know divine feminine counterparts, but feminine energy as a whole, right? Um, and I'm gonna say that the divine feminine got uh, an energy that's a little better than the divine masculine, but that's really only because the divine feminine is tends to be more spiritually advanced or awakened than the Divine Masculine is. So because of that, the Divine Feminine um, sees a lot of things for what they truly are versus how the Divine Masculine may see them at this moment in time. That does not mean that the Divine Masculine cannot get to that point too, but as it stands right now, this is where we are. And it makes perfect sense because this is where we have been, okay? Oh, so much truth, guys. Um, the uh, shadow, the illuminated uh, shadow aspect. I need to learn what this official, the shadow, I'm sorry, the shadow dynamic we have is deer. Deer, 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 Loving, intuitive, graceful, the mother. The deer represents the feminine aspects of earth energy. This energy is available to all creatures, regardless of gender, but is especially potent in new parents. During the first few days, they are fully present, nurturing, and calm. Their inner beauty radiates and a sense of grace cal calms the, ro the room. A deer personality affects others in this way drawing them towards a quiet tenderness. The deer card may appear when a birth or a celebration of new life draws near, or when a situation calls for absolute gentleness and compassion. When in balance, deer is receptive, compassionate, and nurturing. When out of balance, deer is concerned and protective. To bring into balance, one would need to interact with nature or children. So the message here is, the shadow dynamic of this situation between the divine masculine and divine feminine feminine is uh, absolute gentleness and compassion. We're all going through a lot right now, guys. The more compassion you can put towards your counterpart, or I'm sorry, towards your divine partner, the better your outcome will be and the easier time you may have. Doesn't mean it's going to keep you from experiencing certain things or going through some, going through or facing certain things, but the more compassion you can have towards your, your partner and towards yourself, the better time you will have of transiting through these energies. Yes? Okay, and finally, the illuminated dynamic is peacock. Sorry, no songs for peacock. <laughs> other than Katy Perry's song, but we won't get into that. <laughs> All right, so inner beauty, compassion, assimilator of anything. The beauty of the peacock is unrivaled. 
it's e this it's easy to think it comes from the plumage, but the secret of the peacock is that the beauty resides within and extends outward indefinitely. This adept creature can assimilate or digest all experiences in life, so it does not harbor resentment, conflict, or past pain within its psyche. The, the peacock type is extremely rare. Not, not many of us have reached this advanced level of acceptance of the self and others. That is so perfect. When in balance, peacock is confident and kind. When out of balance, peacock can't digest situations. To bring into balance, meditate on the navel. And how perfect is that? Peacock is like the symbol of this twin flame relationship, of unconditional love, of being able to get through anything and still come out on top. Still come out loving your divine counterpart, or your divine partner. That could not be any more perfect. Guys, I told you, this deck is the truth, y'all. If you're looking to invest in a new Oracle deck, I highly recommend this one because this deck has just been so on point. So a big old thank you to Kim Kranz, to The Wild Unknown. This deck is amazing. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, so there it is. So there is your relationship reading. This is going to be added to the, uh, or it has been, excuse me, it has been added to the, as part of the uh, mirror reading. Yes, now this can be used for a relationship between you and a romantic partner, you and a friend, family member, you and someone else that's in conflict, you and a certain situation. Anything we can mirror between you and something else, we can do this with. Okay, guys? It doesn't have to be a love, re uh, a love reading. Okie dokie. Well, there it is. Much love to you all, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.